Welcome to the 99 damage masters number four. Panthers and attacks are fighting for the last playoff spot in group B. Their opponents SK already got through to the playoffs. So now it's Norway against Germany. Alternate attacks against Panthers facing off on the first map does too. A fairly even map and the map pick of Panthers. Both teams were performing very well lately. Panthers almost brought SK down to uh, defeat yesterday. Well, not necessarily defeat, but they almost brought them to a third map. It was 13 to 3 at one point. And then SK just decided to take the take the map and they won 16 to 13. So, that was a close match yesterday. And we will find out if Panthers could have a chance at a rematch in the playoffs. Obviously, that would be the final if they get to it. So, the knife round is uh, really not that decisive. I mean, come on, boys. You can do it. <laughs> it's dust too, you know? It's not train. <laughs> what? Wow! What a frag! <laughs> it's Unreal flashbacks all over the place again. I love Unreal, but I love CSGO even more. What a great knife kill. That is a highlight reel for me. So, Atax is going to start on the CT side and we are finally live with the game. So, oh yeah, I actually have to put the zero back on to the overlay. There we go. Everything set for a thrilling matchup. Germany and Norway facing off against each other. And we have the first aggression already by the CTs. Look at that. And the terrorists are under pressure on the B-bomb side at the same time. A is going to be attacked by them. Everyone is attacking everyone on every single part of the map. Now the CTs don't know where the real push is going. The bomb has been shown on A long though. So attacks will rotate the players there. Paint is the guy to intercept the CTs or go for the backstab. But attacks refuses to commit to CT spawn and Tizian is still holding on to that. Denies Paint from backstabbing. But at least he still has control of short. And he finds Hatchet onto Tizian. Heath is very low on HP but still gets rid of Paint. That was a little bit too close for comfort. But the terrorists are still, well, not anymore. But they still had two players and... Crispy was almost able to intercept the bomb from going through. Now his teammates are there and Mystic will punish them for fooling around a little bit. But only punishes one of them. So the bomb will still be defused and alternate with the first round on the board. Could have gone either way if Paint had picked up the frag onto Keith. It would have definitely slowed the CT's rotation down and would have made it, would have enabled Payne's teammates to plant the bomb more comfortably. Now the terrorists with the force by, they have an AK in the hands of Polly and he's so dangerous with it. Luckily for him, he's supported by Mistake who keeps him alive while Polly was completely blinded and the terrorists are slicing through to a long. Even though the AK wielding player is on low HP, he drops the AK for his teammate. And <laughs> they are swapping weapons back and forth while the CTs try to get a foothold on the A bomb side. The terrorists still have so much time on their hands. They can just stay hidden, make the CTs doubt themselves, and split them up again. Mark has the AK now. And he's just as strong as Polly. He's got armor and helmet. It's not going to be easy to be killed, but Stefan makes me look like a fool here with that line. It's going to work straight away. 2v2 now. All on the line for the Terrace Mystic with good reactions onto Stefan and good spray control. And the second follows up straight away. Crispy is down and out and Panthers make it 1-1. 
what a quick start by both teams. The pissed round was very chaotic. Not much of a system behind it, except for let's go anywhere, somewhere, and possibly nowhere, and try to pick up frags. And the second round was way more structured by the terrorists, especially. First frag by Polly, who proves how strong he can be. The famous taken on Tizia. The CTs now reeling for some control. They are desperate to collect any sort of frags, but they are denied that by Mystic. And it's a 5v3. The CTs have Keith wounded down to 5 HP. He has to retreat. He has to stay as defensively as possible. Stefan is going to be his. Uh, his uh, support player and Kazuya is alone on the A-bomb side. He's got a Famas so at least he can defend it but he needs to pick up more than one or even more than two frags to hold on to the side and he's gonna be pushed by short and long at the same time. He's flashing off long and goes down to Mark. So it's a 2v5. This should be straightforward. Keith is on his own in CT spawn and he will be picked off by Mystic. 2 to 1 for Panthers, and the CTs win another safe round. So the terrorists doing a good job of holding the CTs down. Let's see if Payne can open up this round as well. A trip is stacked by the CTs on long, and he's not having any problem with that. There is even saw another one. They will push forward and Kazuya picks up one kill. But that's all he could do. Mystic with the double kill against Stefan and Crispy. So good start for Panthers, but now it's attacks time. They have the first spy round. And I kinda like the fact they didn't pick up helmets. Even though you take some kind of a risk with it. You save some money, uh, but they didn't pick up any defuse kits. And Mystic is already through to middle. What a great push by the terrorist, just quickly capitalizing on some openings on the CT side. And Alternate is completely going down here. Now they have one player caught in the middle of the bomb side of the bomb platform. It's Stefan, who just clings on to his weapon. The terrorists finally get rid of him with Mag. Polly behind the box in middle. He pushes out a little bit too early. Kazuya disposes of him, making it a 3v3 again. Panthers planted a bomb and they have to hold on two tunnels. Keith is already pushing in from the back. He's in a firefight with Payne who catches the first bullet and goes down to 52. Ah, oh, that wasn't a flash, it was a smoke, but Payne is not fooled long. Mark and Skirk will get the frags as well, and Panthers make it 4 to 1. Sturdy, sturdy um, performance by Panthers. Pushing Mystic into middle already. That was the opening frag over here. So it was Stefan crammed into that corner. He couldn't go away anymore from that corner. While we see Polly with the first AWP and the first tag onto Stefan. Now let's uh, focus on this round. Alternate has something in store for us. Oh, good aim by Tiziane, taking his time with the Deagle. And Keith with the P250 isn't able to follow it up. That would have been the chance for the CTs to get into the round. But Polly is not allowing Stefan to get rid of him either. So it's only Kazuya. Polly with the double kill already. And Kazuya is covered by pain. So, let's go back to that first rifle round. Uh, Panthers had Mark and Polly occupied with those two positions. So in case the CTs would have pushed through to help Stefan, the terrorists would have uh, killed them pretty easily. And then Panthers didn't push through to the side. They just pinned down Stefan and then called in, Hey, you know, Mark, can you please go to window and kill him? He's in the corner. He's easy to be killed. And Mark did exactly that. And now it's Mystic again. Quick push through short. What a great offer. By attacks basically just lying out the bomb site for the terrorists. It's like... It's like um, 
some religious shrine, you know, and Atax is praying to Panthers at the moment, and they are lying out the bomb site for them. Now the CT's on the rotation, but the terrorist... Oh! Stefan going to work on the Mystic. Kazuya burns Polly in this round is taken. A quick, quick U-turn in the favor of the CTs. Mark is still in the smoke, but the bomb is being defused already. And it will go through attacks, have the second round on the board. But it took them quite long, and Panthers have built up so much money. They can easily buy up three more rounds after this one. Well, two more rounds. Maybe three. At least two. And Polly is opening up again. He is crossing, or he is watching the cross to B, and that weakens to be bombsite. Panthers wanted to pull a quick A long execution, but now they got the opening frag on the B bombsite, so they reconsider their strategy. Oh, that nade was intercepted by a mark. Doesn't matter too much, though. It wouldn't have killed anyone, that's for sure. Might have dealt some damage, but that's all it would have done. Tizian with the peek into short just to get some information and see if the terrorists are um, preparing an A push. Attacks can work with that information. Tizian fortifies that position and forces the terrorists to really go to B. And that's something that they will easily do, you know. They comply without refusing. Tizian has to hurry to his teammates' help. Crispy is still inside the site. Good flash work by him. The double, f the double kill is real. And Tizian comes in from behind as well. The bomb is not yet planted. And Tizian with another headshot onto Paint and uh, onto Polly. Excuse me. Paint and Mark are still standing, but the CTs are all over the place. Two in tunnels and one in middle. Tunnels will be crucial. Not being held on. Tizian with the triple kill and attacks make it 3 to 5. Pandas were looking so strong at the start of this round. But suddenly, attacks came back into round thanks to Crispy's great movement. Smoke placement was good as well. He flashed all the terrorists. One was there, two were there. And um, he came around that box, got two frags where he shouldn't have picked up more than one. And that slowed down Panthers. That allowed Tizian to come up with the backstab. And also win the round for attacks. Keith opens up onto Mystic now. It's the first round that Polly didn't get attack on the cross. Tizian's just waiting behind the smoke on long. Mark didn't spot him, but just shoots a few bullets ah. to keep him. Oh, Keith with a frag onto paint on short. And he stays in position as well. Another one by Keith onto Polly. A 5v2 now. Skirk and Mark. What can they do? I mean, really, what can they do? One minute on the clock. They could be push B. They could smoke CT spawn off. But if they wanted to push B, they needed a, an opening frag somewhere. And that's not going to happen too soon. Skirk is uh, going in for that frag now. He knows Stefan likes the position in the back of the site. Now the flash comes in, blocks off window, but doesn't blind all of them. And Stefan with the double kill from the headshot box. Good work by him. And also good work by his support player inside the site. Attacks are crawling back into the game with a three round streak. And this time around it was flawless. So their own money is uh, getting better and better. But Panthers have another buy round. The loser bonus is now kicking in. And on top of the pile of money they stacked up. They now get additional money every single round. And that will obviously give them, chance to give them the chance to buy up and uh, stay on the weapons all the time. Because even if they lose this round, they would be on a four-round loser bonus. They have enough money on two players at least. And um, they would be able to buy up 
again, or force it up at least. Oh, Keith with a cheeky jump on top of the box gets rid of Mystic on the B bomb site. And Skirk thinks about pushing through. They have another player in middle. Now he spotted Keith and he will dispose of him. Now it's up to Stefan to get back into the bomb site. And at the same time, Pauly is covering short. CTs. Have Crispy over there and he's walking forward. Oh, he's picking off Mark and he didn't run into the crosshair of Polly either. Crispy with the important frag to make that retake happen. A 2v3 now. He accidentally jumps and messes up his spray pattern. 28 HP remain for Crispy. And the CTs need to think about saving now. The terrorists have really good positions. A lot of CTs. No, Payne comes in with the refrag and Polly is there from the tunnels. So attacks will lose this round and Panthers are back. Uh, that was a little bit too late. I don't know if that is an issue on Panthers. They said it's a team speak issue. I just wanted to hide the economy and what the CTs will buy with it. The economy shouldn't be that big of a mystery, but the way attacks will spend the money, that's more um, that's more of a mystery for Panthers. I mean, Henry G was completely right with his assumption that you could ghost if um, you pause the game in an online match. And I just want to take precautions whenever I think of that. I will bring up the pause screen. Yes, they will unpause. There we go. And we are delayed by one minute and a half just by GoTV and some more seconds due to the stream having to upload and decode. So, yeah, you just have to hide it. Keith with the first pick in middle. And he didn't pick off Polly, but he did pick off Mystic. And those are just a few shots that make it so m so incredibly hard for the terrorists to do something and anything, basically. Skirk rushes through too long, dings Tizian straight away, has to reload and he's completely flashed, but his teammates are around, they draw the fire, but Crispy is not disturbed easily. He will get rid of two more terrorists and leaves Paint alone. He's got a bomb right in front of him, but he doesn't know where the CT was going. Or where the rest of the CTs were going. Kazuya has him covered. And attacks are back again. So a quick exchange of rounds. It will still keep the CTs money quite low. But the terrorists decide not to go for the full buy. They rather go for some upgraded pistols. They wasted a lot of time staying in spawn. So it's only Mark there. Keith is already in lower tunnels. Those first frags by Keith that he started picking up when the CT started picking up rounds. They are so crucial. Skirk with the refrag of the Deagle. But Polly goes down on A. And now the terrorists are split up. They can't work together too well anymore. I mean, Skirk has to travel quite a distance to have the right angle, and Paint has to push through on his own. In the meantime, Skirk goes down, and Paint is on his own. <laughs> Stefan has him, and it's six to six. Can Keith? Oh, yeah, he can. Okay. Polly is out. They try to counter Keith, but they lose the first exchange. And Panthers need to do something about Keith. That's what I talked about. They ha they know he's the all player. They now know that he likes to pick middle. And they should not contest that anymore. There are different methods to get rid of that. 
Oh, well, Skirk with a good smoke shot, and there is Mystic. Another cheeky frag by him, just running into middle, getting that frag, turning it into the favor of the terrorist. And at the same time, Skirk kills Crispy in the back of the B bomb site. And Tizian and Keith have to retake against three terrorists. He's just going for the pre fire. Tossing his nade behind the box. Good tag by him. Heats in, in the firefight. Kills down to Mystic. And Keith is pushed from the back as well. Mystic with the heads up play. In a 3v2, you can go for that. One terrorist is the expendable guy. And he can go for the backstab on the CTs in front of B. So Panthers with the right call. 7 to 6. No op anymore. Even though they could have afforded it. I mean, Polly could have invested in an AWP instead of nades and AK. But I think they are fed up with Keith's shenanigans. They want to avoid him if they can. And I don't think they really fancy an AWP battle. So three CTs inside the B bomb site. Attacks went for a premature call there. Obviously one of them is watching middle. But um yeah, that's just crispy being the support guy. But the terrorists are on the way to A and they are pushing from short. Keith will be the key player for the CTs. And he's got a tiny gap to shoot through and look through, and he spotted the terrorists on their way. The terrorists now know that there is an AWP in the platform. Only one frag for Keith. Polly with a quick retaliation kill to make it 4-4. Four four. The bomb goes down. It is taken in favor of the terrorists. But the CTs have so much time to work with now that uh, the time changes and all that. And the CTs will not have that big of a problem retaking. Now it's Skirk and Mystic still standing. Mystic is the only one against two CTs. Both of them are really tagged up. But Skirk, oh, he goes down to Tizian. And he couldn't change the outcome of the round anymore. Oh, did he? No defuse kit on the CTs, but still enough time. Attacks make it 7-7. Seven to seven. So the 40 second bomb timer definitely worked for attacks in this round. It's Panthers that have to pull it out of their head. The magic head. But it's once again the CTs that open up. Just think with the surprise we frag onto TTN. I don't think that he was expecting somebody behind it. Container. Usually you get your uh, your player into the container position while the CTs are flashed. Because he is still behind the smoke, so he's still safe. But when he clears, Mark could look through onto short. Well, neither of the two, th two players wants to do that. And Crispy didn't spot Mark either. Keith with an important frag onto A long. He's got another target to shoot at Skirk with a scout. And that maybe even gives him an advantage here against Keith. Because he can jump and shoot, even though it's not as accurate anymore. Keith keeps challenging the scout in the pit. And that offers a lot of distraction to the CTs. Look at what the terrorists have in store here. With the AWP shot onto Skirk, but Mark opens up the B-bomb set, and Kazuya is a little bit too late. The bomb will be planted, and Mark can cover his teammate. He will tag Kazuya and gets rid of him as well. A 2v2 now. The CTs, with all that they have, they throw it at the terrorists. They try to force him off out of their positions. Mark is behind the big box, and both of the terrorists pick up one frag each to make it 8-7 halftime score 
on the first map. Panthers were struggling throughout the the late part of the half. And they couldn't reset the CT's money anymore. But at least they got those three out of nine rounds. So they didn't allow the CTs to get too big of a streak. I thank you guys for hanging out today. And I thank you for tuning in. Attacks and Panthers. A fairly close halftime score. A score that both teams can work with. It will depend on the pistol round. Let's see who will pick it up. Mac is in a perfect position to ambush the terrorists. And Polly and Skirk would be able to support him nicely. The terrorists on the other side, they take their time. They expect some aggression from the CET side. And with the additional 10 seconds on the clock, the terrorists have those additional 10 seconds to spend and wait. And it's not even a problem for them. Now, alternate takes point on a long. They have to close the distance to Mystic as as quickly as possible. And they are quite close already. Mystic calls in for his teammates. Help me, guys! Okay, I'm under pressure. Everyone's around. He picks up a headshot. A second one for Mystic before Kazuya puts him down. Now, Kazuya with his own double kill. And it's a 3v3 again. Skurg is tagged to 11 HP. He needs to carry the defuse kit as, as closely to the bomb as possible before he goes down. And alternate with one player in long. See what he is able to do. He will pick off Skurg. And the terrorist will be decimated again. But Stefan with the double kill. Paint and Mac go down. It has been a round of double kills. Attacks are not fooling around today. 8 to 8. 20 kills for Mystic. 11 for Paint. Skirk with 10. On the other side, Tizian and Keith with 15 each. And the terrorists are about to walk into maybe not the best exchange here. The CTs decided to buy up armor and pistols. But Tizian has none of it. He gets that quick double kill. Opens up long. The CTs in the meantime dispose of his teammate, but they couldn't gather any weapons. Crispy's down to 1 HP. He received 99 damage. Oh, the bomb will go through. That would have been a great kill for Paint. Now he has to retreat and save his armor. Polly is still entangled in a firefight, and both of them get a headshot on the terrorists. Kazuya and Tizian are suddenly struggling for something like control. CT's only knew where the terrorists are. Now the bomb will be modeled off the way, and it will take faster and faster. Paint is still working on the frag, but it won't happen anytime soon. And both of the CTs realize that their party is over. It's time to go home. It's time to return to your wife and your kids. And you will go home empty-handed this time around. So alternate make it 9 to 8. They win the two first rounds of the second half. But the CTs did a good job of making it expensive and also making attacks aware of the skill that Panthers is equipped with. And that it's not only that it's not a one man show um, that consists of Polly, but at the moment it's actually only Mystic. But when Polly starts stepping it up, I could see attacks. Um, Losing control of this matchup. Stefan is able to dispose of the first one. The terrorists taking their time on A long. And they give the CT some additional time to rotate around.
So some good team play would be possible between Mark and Polly. Polly is the guy with the only really impactful weapon for the CTs. Now he's spotted by the terrorists. They still take point. They still push through. They know that there is a UMP on the bomb spot. Stefan will rush through the smoke and he gets the headshot straight away. Great frag for alternate. 2v5. Paint and Mark were the only ones standing. And now it's only Paint. No weapons to be picked up so far. He has to drop some himself with the Deagle. And the terrorists are unfortunately for him not exiting through short. They take long and they will stay there while he will stay in middle or maybe even go back to the B-bomb site. Let's take a s look at the scoreboard. Still 20 frags from Mystic. On the other side we have 17 for Tizian and Keith, who keep up with each other. Keeping up with the Keith Tizian nations. That was bad. Um, and Stefan with 13 frags. The economy is back for Panthers. And they have an orb for Polly. Maybe he can do what Keith did on his CT side. Tagging or killing guys crossing to um, important parts of the map is Keith's task now and Polly needs to keep him from doing that. So a slow build up by attacks, they focus on A for now, but the bomb is still dropped behind. The CTs would have a good hold with Polly on the car, Mystic would be close by so he could rotate rather quickly and Skirk holds on too long so Polly doesn't have to focus on this part of the map. Polly is only occupied with one angle and that angle will be flashed and smoked off and now he will be pushed close quarter. He tries to run away but that doesn't work out. Kazuya and Heatsin with the frags. Heatsin with the second onto Skirk, who didn't even. Did he get. Yeah, he did get, get some tags onto Tizian. But attacks is um, in full control of the A bomb site. And the CTs will go for the save. So Panthers will not win this first rough round in the second half. But maybe they can do it in the second one. Uh, and both of them pick up a frag. Paint makes it too. Holding on to those weapons was incredibly important for the CTs. That's why the terrorists went out of the way to remove them. Now they have one more rifle for Paint. He can drop something for his teammates. But the rest of his teammates can't afford anything. So he will not do that. And the CTs will go for the save. If they had saved those two guns, they might have done something weird and with their money and, you know, Mech 7 or something like that. Maybe a few Famuses. For, yeah, Mystic would have been able to purchase a Famus. But then they, they would have had, yeah, they needed drops nonetheless but doesn't matter for now paint is the only one with a rifle and he is able to use it on the one of the terrorists but then all of his teammates get killed in short paint receives the deadly bullet by crispy and mark is taken out by crispy too 12 to 8 four attacks panthers on their own map pick they're not looking good at least not anymore The double AWP setup for the CTs, they need to change something. They came up with the idea of, well, guys, we still have another uh, chance. Maybe if we pull out the double AWP setup, maybe we can stop the terrorists. 
doesn't look too good for the CTs yet. They suffered the first loss and one of their more important players, at least on the terrorist side, Mystic, goes down already. Skurg in some big trouble. He runs away, tries to stay alive as, as long as possible. But the only thing he was able to do is drop an aid behind him. It got one frag, but after that he went down and the CTs left struggling again. Keith with a good frag onto Polly. Paint doesn't necessarily know where his opponents are. He got a few calls by his teammates, but they were either quite long ago or quite obvious. So he has to sneak and cross his fingers in hope for a surprise. The surprise already happened, but the bomb will go through. And yeah. Now he realizes it's time to say goodbye and he runs into the tunnel saving his gun for the next round. Attacks will make it 13 to 8. Again, the terrorists will send players out to look for the frag. It's key for the most part. Terrorists win. But nobody will go down anymore. 13 to 8 now for attacks. Let's see if they can pull it home straight away or if Panthers have a chance to come back here. It might be one of their last chances before they have to suffer defeat. Scout for Polly, Famas for Mystic, two M4 ones for Payne, Skurg and Mark. Orb still for Keith. He did a good job previously, so he's got all the right in the world to hold on to this gun. Tizian and Kazuya already tagged by the CTs, doing some good work here on the early tags, something that is underestimated sometimes. The early tags for the CTs, they make it easier for them to block the terrorists, to spray them through smokes, to get cheeky frags like Skirk just tried to get, but Stefan was not blinded enough and the terrorists will make it 5-4 to four on the players. Panthers still have Polly around on the A-bomb side, but the CTs are maybe... Well, yeah, now they are gathering information. Mystic is on long. The terrorists are making their way to the B-bomb side. They will execute a B-split with maybe one guy only spitting through middle. The rest will run through the tunnels. Keith with the first one onto paint. 5v3 now, Polly, Mark and Mystic on the rotation. Mystic with a good pick off onto Crispy. Kazuya goes... Yeah, well... Goes to work onto Mark and finishes him off. Which leaves that really important firefight. And since Mystic was able to win it, but then Polly lost his to Kiev, the retake is impossible for Panthers. They will run away again and alternate, make it 14 to 8. Tizian and Keith have Mystic already between them and there is no way out of there anymore. Tizian will kill him, making it 14 to 8 with that move. Seven rounds in a row, four, uh, four attacks now. Two more to go and they have won the first map, the map pick of their opponents. An attack onto Mark by Keith. 35 HP remain for the B-bomb side player. If the terrorists take that into consideration, they could put some pressure onto A, force the CTs on a rotation, maybe get a kill over there and then they have to make a choice if they want to go B or if they actually stick to A after that area or after that um, 
second frag or first real frag. As we have with the first, but Mark trades him, so the B-bomb side is still covered. Oh, Mystic with the headshot onto Keith. Now the CTs are pulling it back from square one, so to speak. Mystic pushing into CT slope. Now he has to defend the A-bomb set together, but Crispy and Stefan with the frags. 2v3. Skirk with the Famas in an unlikely position. I mean, unlikely to have a double kill or something like that. So he has to wait for his teammate. And Mark is there. Good headshot onto Crispy. Stefan comes out of the bomb site and Tizian lets his gun do its job onto Mark. 15 to 8 for attacks. 7 map points for the Germans. Oh, Keith deals no damage and catches 82 damage. That definitely wasn't his plan. Crispy and Paint already exchange the frags and Stefan goes down to paint as well on the B-bomb side which gets closed out by one single CT. Mystic with the back stab. The P90 does its job onto Crispy leaving it at a 2v2. Keith with 18 HP. Mystic on 8. And the two other players on each team with full HP. The terrorists go for the rotation. And the CTs will spot that. They will either join forces again and go through short or they will split up. One goes short, one goes CT spawn or they could even go back to A long. It seems to be the, the idea of paint. But he will be too loud because we already expected him thanks to the footsteps. And a 45 second remaining will allow alternate. Oh, they it would have allowed them to go for a re-rotation, but they stick to A after all. And they know that Mystic should be low. <laughs> now 1v1, the bomb has been planted. Autoscope for Keith. the smoke is there. Mystic is behind the smoke and he will go for the encounter. Getting the frag as well. Going for a lengthy defuse, but it's not a problem with all the time on the bomb. 9 to 15. Still, six more map points for attacks. Another full buy by the terrorists. Obviously, they don't have um, any reason to save with that much money. It will still be able to buy up next round. And the CT is losing the first fight on the A-bomb side already. Attacks is fully committed to the A-bomb side. They have one player in middle. And Polly goes down to Crispy Keith with another one. It is Skurg and Paint. Make that only paint. Not looking good for Panthers, aka X London Conspiracy. Attacks are about to win the first map, and there it goes. 24 kills for Tizian and Keith, who kept up with each other along the road. 27 for Mystic, 19 for Paint, and Polly has been, in my opinion, disappointing. He has to step it up for the second map if Panthers want to have a chance in the 19 and Damage Masters. They have to win cash and they need to win the third map as well. The third map would be overpass. So please guys, stay around for the second map here in the 19 and Damage Masters number 4. Brought to you by Daily Motion and CSGO Lounge. My name is Dabu and I hope you enjoy this game as much as I do.